Hello once again, Internet. Me to cool Carmen coming right back at you. Yep, whatever this means. But yeah, I just want to say it's been so long since I've made any videos here. Sorry, guys, I've just been busy with open mic nights, volunteering, appointments, and other stuff to keep coming up. But I am back, back in your face. Too close there? I don't know. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I just thought I'd talk to you about what's up. So. I've been, like, just meaning to get back out there do some more stuff on YouTube. It's kind of weird. Like, after a while, once you stop doing this stuff for a while, it's kind of like... you kind of, The words kind of slip out of your mind. You know, I just need some time to, like, kind of rejuvenate myself, get the words back into my mind. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever that was. But, yeah, I've just been super busy. And I've just kind of not been doing the right stuff to really stimulate my mind in a way, like... To get the words flowing through my head of stuff I could talk about or say. But I really do want to, guys. I really, really do enjoy YouTube. It's just kind of nice being able to talk to people. Just show people. Talk about my life. Talk about what's on my mind. And put it into your minds. Uh, I don't know. But, yeah. I just... I don't know. If you guys have any suggestions, be sure to leave them in the comments or wherever. Or, you don't have to leave any at all. But, just saying. Whatever. Anyways, so, I thought... This video would be an interesting, I guess I'd give a story, I'm not there right now, but down the street a little ways, I was with my friend Clayton Lane, he's a good old friend of mine, he was visiting at my aunt's, so we decided to go down, he's a big nature guy, he was near here a little down the road, but not in this particular neighborhood, this is a different neighbor I'm just walking around in, cause whatever, why not, <laughs> but yeah, we're just walking down around there, I had like these kind of gym shorts on, like a, we'd wear in gym class, or for exercising or whatever that, that they didn't have any pockets so they are like and just imagine I have my phone tucked in to my pants waist which thinking back on it I don't know why I did that but for a while it actually just stay secured then I was helping them out we are standing kind of like a flooded area because it had been raining heavily the night before kind of somewhere like in these trees except a little lower lying and it was all flooded because it had been raining real hard they always were there, right? And we're just chilling, exploring. My friend really likes nature, and I like being outside and chilling in nature as well. So we we're exploring. Suddenly, I went to pick up my phone, and what do you know? I let it slip out of my hands. And at first, I was like panicking in my mind. But I want to stay calm because you know, just a material object. I mean, it do would suck to lose your phone because you know I wouldn't have another phone for a while. I have lots of money to go out and just get new iPhones all the time. <laughs> but you know. Still, at the same time, it is a material object, and even if eventually material objects can be a place, and that's not what our life should be about, right? Shouldn't be about the material objects. <laughs> but still, I was sorry for that little rant there. But I was just uh, sitting in the water for about eight seconds trying to look for it, and finally he just pulls it out. And I'm like thinking, my phone must be broke. It's been in the water for a good eight seconds, and it's kind of murky water as well. But yeah, anyways, it's just been like, oh, I think there's some dogs coming over here. It just been like in there and I pulled it out and it was working. I'm like, this is the miracle phone. Oh yeah, that's why I call my phone the miracle phone. Whatever, it actually did work pretty much as well as it did before I took it out of the water. Did have to put it in a rice bag though for but it wasn't for that long, maybe an hour, two or three hours at most, because the microphone speaker being a bit wonky, but I pulled it out, it was working just fine. I'm like, thank you. Wouldn't have been the best to lose another wouldn't have been the best to lose an iPhone, but at the same time, life shouldn't be about all the material objects, man. <laughs> but yeah, guys, sorry for that jump cut there. Had some dogs from the neighborhood come and say hello to me. Got to get socializing with the dog fellows. We saying hello, chilling, like pounding it, high five, whatnot. I don't know, fronting, woof woof, to you too. But anyways, guys, I guess I better get on going here. Thanks for watching my crazy ramblings. This isn't too much of a video, but just want to say hello. Hopefully, I'll be doing some more soon about what I'm going to try. May try a few different things out. Get out there and do the thing. I don't know. Do the thing. Not sure what that means. <laughs> but I'm just saying random stuff. I'm a little tired. I've been mm -hmm. busy. Had school orientation yesterday and various other things. So I had to wake up early for that. And I'm not used to waking up early. I try to wake up around 9 or so in the summer, just to stay early enough scheduled, but yesterday I had to wake up at around 7.30, which during the school year I can do it just fine, but, you know, once you're out of groove, it's like, you're used to something else, so it feels like, uh, you know, like a zombie or whatever, which is why I kind of felt like yesterday, 
But anyways, guys, I'll talk to y'all later and hope to be doing some more awesome video stuff soon or whatever. I don't know. I've probably been looking all over the place. <laughs> Sorry, if, but whatever. I don't need to apologize for nothing. Or do I? I don't know. Talk to y'all later. Peace out. <laughs>